Hello Libras, this is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading. Let's get into it Libras, let's see what's in your cards. Let us see what's in <laughs> your cards. Let's see what's in your cards Libras, let's go. Talking to you wherever Libras in your cards, let's go. Alright, first card off the deck, star card. Here we have the hermit card, here we also have the empress card, the moon card, the hangman, and the death rebirth. Rebirth Star Card. All right. <clears throat> All right. Here we also have the Hermit Card. Here we have the Empress Card. Here we have the Moon and the Hangman. So somebody is trying to dream bigger, you know, after leaving some things behind and also go through this rebirth. <clears throat> so, yep. Trying to dream bigger. After cutting some ties and moving on, right? Trying to dream bigger. Two types of energies you left behind. Um, dreaming bigger, trying to believe in yourself, trying to believe in your own Trying to believe in your own star, right? Your own purpose, which is a good thing, right? <clears throat> so there's hope, bliss, and optimism moving forward. Trying to grow your own abundance, right? Just trying to leave people behind and keep people levels below them. You know what I'm saying? Like leaving those types of energies behind, Libra. Trying to just be fair with yourself. Trying to balance some things out. Recognizing that you are good enough, that you are worthy. See? Very nice. Trying to connect with other people who have left those types of energies behind, which is a good thing. So, yeah, you're, you're making some connections there, talking to those types of energies, right? Here we have the Six of Cups here. Yeah. Nostalgic, kind of sort of talking about childhood, reconnecting with people, um, talking about kind of sort of childhood memories, um, Making some decisions to focus on seeing the light in people as you want them to see the light in you, right? Trying to see things from a higher frequency, right? So kind of sort of finding something you have in common with someone, right? Who do you have in common? And so I feel like you're going to be talking about loved ones who may have transitioned, right? So you're finding somebody you have in um, common with. And then talking about the good things you have in common with somebody, like from your past. So if it's a parent that transitioned, for instance, you may talk to them about that. You may say, okay, yeah, we, and find the light in that conversation. Not necessarily trauma bonding, but finding the light in that. So if you have a favorite aunt, uncle, parent, whatever, finding the light in that, talking about that, right? Do we have the two of cups here? So that could be a proposal. That could be a proposal in, in a partnership and business. You know, that could be kind of a uh, soul connection, right? In business and or in love for somebody, right? Here we have the Five of Pentacles here. Yeah, Five of Pentacles here for you and somebody. Um. But what you won't be going back to, like in terms of talk, and this is in the fairness, right? What you won't be going back to are energies that are connected to a particular belief system that's connected to them not knowing their worth and not knowing their value. Sort of a pick me spirit. That's what you're not dealing with. Energies who just gossip just for the sake of gossip. They just want to be a part of something. They just talk about anything. That's what you won't be a part of. So, those types of energies. Here we have in the universe fully supports it. Fully supports it. Fully, fully, fully supports it, right? But those types of energies have proven to have proven to be very toxic, right? So, that's in, yeah. It proven to be very toxic with people who move on. So, something you, you learned a lesson. But when loved ones move on, they engage in very toxic behavior and it shows big cracks in the foundation that get a lot of people in trouble 
Yep. So those are the energies you do not want to connect with. They have the same belief system. They come get information about people, talk trash about them. They go in their house, talk trash about them, tell everybody else about it. You know, just shows big cracks. There's no, there's no sacred nothing. So, but moving forward, you're trying to build more sacred bonds with people. So here we have the um, princes of pentacles here. They actually treat people like everybody's paparazzi. <laughs> like, I mean, they treat they treat people like they are paparazzi. They take pictures of stuff. They record conversations. They just like ridiculous, right? Mm hmm. Temptations, right? So something about their energy, you're like, mm mm. Right? You stay as far away from them as fast as you can. Here's the Eight of Wands here, and like I said, it's two of them. You don't want to be bothered. Here's the Eight of Wands here. You just stay as far away from them as possible. In other words, whoever these two types of energies are, for you, these are the types of energies because of something that they've done to you, Libra. As you're fair-minded, but you're fair enough to say, see how this person is sitting on a bench, <laughs> like a park bench? I'll meet you at the park. I'll meet you outside with some other people, but you can't come in the house. Be like, why? No, you haven't earned the right. They haven't earned the right to come to your house. You meet up with your friends or something outside, right? So it's saying, yeah, and you're actually being rewarded because, yeah, you're at a crossroad. It's like, uh, can't talk to you on the phone, no, nothing. Don't trust them. Yeah, you're actually taking a high road. Yeah. So here we have the Princess of Swords. Mm -hmm. here's the God card so with this type of energy you just have to add some kind of structure because you know exactly who they're connected to they're, de they're connected to a particular type of energy it's their way of the highway and so they can't get around it this energy right here would be like like I said it's their way of the highway that's connected to a particular belief system so as innocent as they may appear whoever this energy is they're almost being bullied, you know, to whatever you give them access to your business. They're almost going to be just questioned until they're going to answer whatever question. So it's like, no, you're adding structure to something. So, yep. Here we have La Bruja. Mm -hmm. Because they 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 keep speaking darkness over everything and don't even realize they're putting a dark spell on this one right here. So no. So it looks like and they've caused this they they've caused everybody around them to lament. You don't even want to be a, you know something about something about an experience that you've had with this one here, and seeing how this one has caused um, you know people around them to lament. This is something very new for you. You're moving on from these two types of energies. And you've seen how they've caused people to lament. It's just, yeah. It's very toxic. Very, very toxic. So, yeah. So, let me see. All right. Let's, let's go and get right, close it out. Yeah, you just you've seen how you've seen how um, people have talked about um, somebody's parent. You know, you've just seen how like a whole organization has talked about somebody's parent, and that's something that you can connect with. It's something about you connecting with them in some way, shape, form, or fashion, and something you all are bonding over, though. Something you are bonding over. Here we have the Six of Wands. And I do see you being, you all being successful. Whoever this is, I see you all being successful, right? 
-hmm. Y'all have a lot of information about, um, you know, clown behavior. <laughs> Both of y'all back in the saddle again. Both of y'all have about two types of, like, like I said, town, clown behavior. Both of y'all are very, you know, here we have the tower card. Mm -hmm. People who jump to conclusions about stuff. So that's how you and somebody are going to be bonding. That's how you and somebody are going to be bonding about how people use people as pawns. Here's the um, five of swords. Mm -hmm. So something is definitely coming to an end. Yeah, here we have the ace of cups. So see the um again yeah you you and somebody just like I said something new happening here something new happening it's almost like people have you know sort of calls you call you and somebody they're saying that y'all are practicing dark magic in some way shape form or fashion when really Somebody else could have been practicing, you know, dark magic. So here we have the lover's card. So lover's card is not necessarily about lovers. It's uh, about partnerships in business and or in love, but it's also just like choosing to see the light in people, like see, choosing to see the balance in people, light and dark. There's light and dark in everybody. So, yeah, let me see. Um, I don't know how to dream a bigger, but it's, a, yeah, okay. So partnerships in business and or in love. Now just being able to see duality in everybody. Seeing source in everybody. That's what somebody's choosing to see. Like seeing source in everybody. So seeing things from a higher frequency. And just really seeing how this one has always been used as a pawn. Like somebody has always trying to be a, um, trying to be fair minded and never saw how this one was being used as a pawn from from the very beginning. People got to be careful about assuming people are practicing dark magic behind closed doors. I'll be real careful with that. So here we have the chariot card. I thought I saw that before. Mm -hmm. So something is a win-win for you. You know, just taking the high road. Something is a win-win for you. Just because, again, when you have an opportunity to um, be at a fork in the road, so it's just saying... You choose not to use somebody as a pawn. You choose not to sit there and get entangled in some kind of an argument. You try to say, like, I'm not playing games, right? That's not what you want your legacy to be. All right, let's see what, uh, hold on, let's do this. Hold on. Yeah, that's what somebody doesn't want their legacy. You don't want your legacy to be that. Playing, you know, using people as a pawn. You rather remove yourself from the board. You don't, you're not interested in playing games. Remove remove yourself from the board. So uh let's see. Yep, here's the nine of pentacles here. So, yeah, somebody definitely has a drinking problem. This card keeps coming out like, like somebody, part of somebody's legacy, their family just drinks. That's all they do, they drink, drink, drink. Everything is centered around drinking. So there's, there's a deeper problem going on here. There's a much deeper problem. It's something around drinking. A lot of drinking going on behind closed doors. That's that number nine. So here we have the four of um, four of wands here. So some kind of celebration is going on here. 
So some kind of a um, celebration is going on here. So uh, give me an eight of wands here. Ooh. The source is kind of fast tracking something for you. You want to see things from a higher frequency? The source is fast tracking something for you. So congratulations. Mm -hmm. booked and busy is what I'm saying for you all like I see a lot of you all having a lot of duties and responsibilities somebody could be flying somewhere um, celebrating something what kind of homecoming or marriage or what kind of event maybe you're going to visit somebody visit a friend or something maybe somebody's getting married Somebody could be having a baby also. But anyway, Queen of Pentacles here. I see you just being down to earth and relatable, but somebody's definitely not. Um, and I see you just being a hardworking person. Seven of Wands here. Yep. Yep. Seeing you uh, increasing your prayer and meditation life, but I definitely see somebody starting to see that somebody is being used as a pawn. Somebody, you couldn't see it until you moved on from something. You really couldn't see it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. So, yeah, you're in a very vulnerable state right now because of that tower card. But um, I see you celebrating. And I see you in a posture of gratitude. That's what I see. In a posture of gratitude moving forward. So, yeah, so start thanking Source in advance for something. Whatever it is you celebrate, start speaking it into existence. Get your rest. Let's get your rest. Start speaking it into existence. Keep your vibrations high. But everything in moderation. Somebody has not been completely honest with you, but speak there it is. Speak it into existence. But document your dreams day and night. Somebody's in a crisis. Somebody's an incubus. Um, you inspired them to heal. Um, they're very prideful. Like, they don't want to know. Like, they don't want to you know admit to something um but yeah you you didn't somebody just didn't want to see that somebody was just like i said maybe embarrassed really that's what i'm seeing maybe just very very embarrassed because that's what that's part of something it's a lot of drinking going on to cover up this mask masking something else here yeah, masking something else but it's time to heal your wounded self you know like i feel like um, <clears throat> I feel like somebody's wounded self could be possibly in Aries because there may not be enough fight in somebody. There may not be enough warrior in somebody, if bare minimum prayer warrior in somebody, where somebody may just kind of, you know... You know, you, you, may, you may have this... Um, so something is bringing out the prayer warrior in you. You know, something is really bringing out a prayer warrior in you. So it's time to heal that wounded part of you. So that would be a person who's like, okay, I pray for things. My prayer is not getting answered. So I just give up, right? This is where you just really dig your, you know, dig your, your, you know, prayers in and just say, okay, I believe. I, I see this happening. I see it. So that's where you're saying you heal, you're healing that part. <clears throat> so it's time to do a crown chakra cleanse. It's time to do a crown chakra cleanse, adjust your crown. Make a list of pros and cons. Somebody wants the best for you, but dance around your home as if no one is watching, but move in silence and move in peace. But somebody's ex was on some kind of an assignment and somebody's going to start seeing that. Somebody's going to start seeing, it's going to start coming back clear to you, Libra. You're going to start saying, oh my God. Then you're going to start seeing just how protected you were just how protected you were get focused get focused get focused get focused get focused get focused but document your dreams day and night document your dreams day and night even if this right here <clears throat> even if this were true even if somebody said you were a dark witch behind closed doors even this is protecting you because you wouldn't even know this you wouldn't even know this all right your inner child is proud of you all right so close out the cycle in love 
but prepare for an increase in pay. Don't return their call. You are protected by angels. Somebody has a very bitter ex. But there are signs all around you. You have the gift of deja vu. Somebody wants to call you, but they haven't changed. They apologize for hurting you. They apologize for hurting you. So you invested a lot of time in something, and I feel like somebody just could not see something. Because again, sometimes people pray for things, Libra, and when they don't see it, you know, happening, you know, um, you may have said, uh, don't see it. But I do see, um, I do see you having some, like I said, some compassion. You know, some new compassion coming across your path. That's what I'm seeing. Some new compassion, you know, coming across your path. Here we have 19. I am a pioneer. So independence and self-sufficiency are um, necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and in work. And you aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life that you desire. 19. Life that you desire. <clears throat> mm hmm See, that tower card will make people think that you are practicing some kind of darkness behind closed doors. And it really isn't. It really, really is not. I am grateful for insightful, genuine, and productive conversations. I give thanks. All discord is now exiting my life with harmony and ease. That's right. That's right. There may be something else you and somebody have in common, too. I feel like you and somebody have more in common than you realize. More in common than you realize. Joy, I was created for a purpose. Great things happen to me each day. My very presence is a blessing. I believe in myself. Joy is a choice and I choose joy. Greater is coming. I am enough. 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 All right. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Build strength. And this is your third eye strength. That's right. Build strength. Right? Build strength. So every time you get fighting mad, so it's saying build your spiritual strength. That's right. See those pastel colors there? Every time you get fighting mad, build your spiritual strength. That's what Source is trying to do. It's like, don't get, you know, you're not fighting against people. This is a spiritual, like spiritual warfare. Build your spiritual strength. That's what Source is trying to teach somebody. Just like train yourself, build your spiritual strength. You may get fighting mad because you start thinking like, Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Somebody was being used as a pawn. What in the world? Why didn't I see it? What in the world? Right? The source says that's where that's where you get an opportunity to use your um you use your spiritual sense. You know, your spiritual strength, excuse me. Get a chance to use your spiritual strength. That is what I have for you. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it think that's it but your inner child is very proud of you like i said don't worry about exes exes for a reason that is what i have for you see you all in the next video bye